Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. If you're very first time stopping by, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and also make sure to smash that like button while you're at it. So today, I'll be bringing you guys my morning time skincare routine um, for the days where I'm in a hurry to go to work or whatnot, or like I don't have too much time on my hands to go like in depth to my skincare routine. These are the products I do use on those type of days and I really thought to share with you guys because it is budget friendly number one and it works for all, it is great for all skin types, but there's a catch. You do have to consult your own doctor or you have to do your own research. Don't just go do follow follow and do and use whatever like or anything I say in this video. Do your own research first and just find out what works best for your skin type because what works for me really and truly might not work for the next person. So be very careful in general before you use anything to opt into. So with that being said, I'll leave the links to all the products in the video down in the, in the description box. So if you are interested in getting any of the product, do you make sure to check that out too. So to start off my skincare routine, I do like to start off with clean hands. I would go in with my um, cleanser. I do use the Neutrogena cleanser because this has salicylic acid. This has salicylic acid, which is good for um, acne prone skin. It helps to break out and um, to even your skin tone, but do not use this every day because it would really dry you out. So I do use this like two to three times in a week. I like to go in with my free man face mask. I only do use this twice a week or whenever I feel like my face needs some, my skin needs some TLC. I do use this and also I use this for my lips too because um, I don't have like a special type of lip scrub I do use for my lips. I either use this mask on my lips because it's, um, what's it called, it's charcoal, I think so, and it detoxes your skin, it's used for um, purifying and to detox your skin, so I use that on my lips as well, or sometimes I do like to make, um, like, homemade um, lip mask. So this is what we're working with right now, and I'm going to leave it on my skin for like 3 to 5 minutes, then it would soften up the little brisk, or whatever it is on the whatever it is that makes the mask kind of rough um so i do leave it on my skin for like five minutes and then i would wash it out so y'all gonna see how my skin is looking Ooh. so after i wash my face and dry it up i do like to to get moisture back into my skin i like to use this avini thermal water spray thingy on my skin just to bring back the moisture into my skin because I, I have dry skin so I need to keep up with my hydration by after like back to back to back so I do use this every day morning and night and then after I go with my Mario Badescu's um, setting mist on my skin so I do let that dry for a while um, again I use this morning and night depends on how I feel. So the next thing I do use is my serum. I use the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Bro. Neutrogena needs to run me some money. They need to come sponsor me, but I swear this is not sponsored. I just really like their product because it is hydrating and I do have dry skin so it tends it caters to my needs and which is perfect for me. Um yeah so I do like to go into every area because I like I said I have dry skin so I try to make sure the product sinks into my skin. This serves as my um, hyaluronic acid. Um, yeah and then I go in with my niacinamide from the ordinary. This product is the truth. If you have acne prone skin blemish this works. You can use it morning and night but the thing I don't like about this is it kind of flakes up on your skin so you do have to let it dry up before you move on to your next step. Um, but it is a good product regardless, so you can use morning and night time, but you do have to let it dry else you're going to be working around with flaky ass, with flaky ass skin and you, it's not cute at all. But y'all see how my skin be looking right now, girl. So the next thing on my list is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream. This has hyaluronic acid. Again, I am big on hydration. If you see all the products that I'll be showing you guys today, they are all hydrating products. 
um, again I do like to make sure every product goes into every single place in my on my skin I try to get everywhere as possible so yeah girls listen to me do not forget your neck do not neglect your neck it is as important as your face okay you can't be working around looking like coke and fanta it's not cute so please whatever you apply on your face put that same energy to your neck thank you I will be putting you guys on to my favorite eye cream is the Holy Harrington. I think that's how you pronounce it. I could never pronounce this product, but anyways, you get the gist. This is my favorite eye cream of all time. You can see it's literally almost done. So I use this again morning and now. I have two eye creams, so I'll show you guys in a separate video. This is the truth. It helps with puffiness and all that good stuff. Um, yeah, so if you are a vegan eye cream, you should invest in one. Um, the next thing on my list, this is the most important step in your skincare, SPF, it is very important. You can't use serum and all that good stuff without laying SPF onto your skin because you're going to have sunburn, you're going to be roasting up in the sun. Again, for my lips, nothing too big, I use Vaseline on my lips and that's just, and that is that. Nothing in depth on my lips to be honest. Like. And again, I go in with my Mario Badescu setting mist to again hydrate my skin, bring back moisture to my skin, and this is how we're looking. So if you made it to this point of the video, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one. Make sure to subscribe, guys, and smash the like button. See you.